Welcome, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made these cufflinks. So we start by melting our silver in our pot and pouring it into the skinny. Now I'm just milling out the metal, bringing it down slowly and reheating it constantly. Now I'm starting to flatten out the metal. And just a little light tap to straighten it out. And like before, I reheat the metal just to go more flat. Now I use the triplet to round off the uh, my bar that I have to get it as round as possible. I'm using half rounds just to get it into a nice circle. I'm using a stencil that helps to get the size that I want. Then I cut off any excess and file down the ends. So I've got a nice smooth joint with no gaps. The liquid I'm adding is flux. That's to help to solve the flow. Make sure you heat up the inside so the solder flows through the other side. Once you've got it nice and soldered, just tap it round on your triplet so it's nice and round. I just flatten the sides. Because it's such a wide ring, you want to make sure that the sides are flat. Now for some more metal, because I want to make the other parts. just punching out some discs now. You'll see what this is for later. Just using a doming block to make them nice and domed. This is a rough measurement of the length that I want. I will cut these down later. Now carefully solder the domes onto the half a circle chenille. Just marking out roughly how far I want to go in depth. Also I'm just using a picture that I found off the internet to divide it into six pieces. mark out where I want to cut it out just by holding it before I add my pieces I want to make sure it fits so there might be some adjustments made
Once you're done with the soldering, just throw it into the pickle or your acid. Make sure your sides are nice and flat before we add the plate for the sides. Now I'm using a flame phrase to cut off the extra bits on the side there. You see what I'm trying to do once it's clean. I'm also using a pink stone, just a, a round circle. We also use several different types of rubber wheels and that's just some emery tape on. Let's try to get it as clean as possible. And when I did my second piece I just glued them all together. Always making sure that you get plenty of solder on the inside. Now once again I'm just cutting off some more excess because I feel that it's a bit too wide. I think I've done a good job trying to get them symmetrical and just make sure they're both the same height. I'm just soldering on the backs. Once again just make sure plenty of solder and then just cut, cut off any access. I'm just marking in between the dips that I have. I've got six dips and I just use a pencil to mark it out so I can find the center. using a small ball phrase to mark the center then I use a pair of dividers to just go around it to make sure it's center once I've made my hole I just want to make sure it's bigger so the piece of chenille or my bar that I have goes through it. Now I've got two uh, disc pieces which I've made a circle inside the center just so I can make sure when I put the bar inside it is center and not off. I'm just going to make some square wire. It's about 1.5 mil. Make sure it's nice and straight, flat, and it's softened before you start making your coil. Because it's a square bar, I'm using my parallels just to straighten it so 
so it stays straight. Once you cut your coil, close your links and solder. Now I'm using a collet punch just to make sure that my links are nice and round. Now clean the sides with some emery paper just to make sure it's nice and flat. Add some solder to your links on the back. Place them where you want them on the top. And just reheat till the solder drops. And like always, once we're done soldering, we give it a clean. I've added some gold plating to the center and some engraving made by Hoos. Now I'm ready to set my stones. I want to heat up some shellac on a stick and just place the cufflinks. Just using a phrase to get the depth for the stone to fit. Once the stone fits, just use a pusher to push the edges over the stone so it stays in. I'm also using a hammer drill to push the metal over, but this isn't necessary. You can just use a pusher. Once your stones are secure and they're not coming out, you can start the cleaning process using a rubber wheel slowly go around the edges and the good news is that this won't mock your stone Just checking that none of my stones are moving. I've also got a flat round rubber wheel which I've phrased out at the end just to get that nice roundness. Once you finish your setting you can reheat the shellac, take it off. Just put in some remover to remove all the access. I'm giving my cufflinks a satin finish. Just using a small drill felt to polish the top. I use nail varnish to mask the cufflinks so I can plate the top yellow. got another bar ready to make the back of my cufflinks. Just making the ends into a point. This is just a bar bent. To a U shape. 
through the end. I just use a wire to hold it together. Once you finish, just clean and polish. To attach them onto the backs, I'm cutting out another pair of discs that I make a hole in the center. Just taping up the tops so you don't get marked. then I just laser it secure. I clean off the part that I've lasered and then give it another satin finish. Just laser it on the backs that fit onto the shirt. Give those a polish. We just finish off with a nice wash. And these are my gun cylinder couplings. <laughs> 